therefore, if this premise is valid for the acquisition of scientific data, then I respectfully submit the findings herein to the scientific community. The scope of my investigation has been limited to the problems encountered in astrophotography as applied to planetary photography in color. A major course of astronomers has been the delineation of the physical world in color. To this end, I have undertaken an individual investigation that has spanned five years of endeavor. Much knowledge is said to be locked up somewhere in people's heads and has passed to the grave. Therefore, it is hoped that the face herein that I have validated with a new optical system over a period from 1975 to 1980 would not be lost to antiquity. that one must be able to utilize the maximum available lighting. Since black and white films must be interpreted in shades of gray, we often miss upon the visual inspection what may be indicative of an important celestial phenomenon. It thus becomes imperative that a medium be used which lessens or narrows the chances of error. Color transparencies has proven to be the medium of choice. For in color, we are dealing with dyes as opposed to sorts of silver. Furthermore, dyes are not subject to the greeniness and reciprocity failure from the sometimes monthly exposures required. The first analysis revealed that the amount or intensity of the available light is responsible for the inevitable exposure factor. It would therefore seem that a compromise is forthcoming, but is a sacrifice of our medium necessary? The answer, by an analysis of the conventional approach, leads one to believe that an increase in the collecting area of the telescope aperture is all that is necessary. Aside from the encounter of mechanical difficulties, there is also the problem of correcting for chromatism, astigmatism, and aberrations. Earth-based astrophotography in the light of this con conventional approach, has lost much of the appeal it should possess in order to inspire the novelists. True, any camera buff can photograph star trails. But what other amateur wishes to define his visible celestial feet? Perhaps from there, members of the solar family. Due to the emphasis of our technological oriented bureaucracies, 
lot of phase of astrophotography is usually left to large laboratories of observational astronomy. No longer do we read or hear of the individualist unless by chance he'd be affiliated with a leading university, a government-sponsored private laboratory. The individual thus becomes a mere blade of grass in an asphalt jungle. Having defined the cause and effect, the purpose becomes one of inspiring other novelists to the field of astrophotography in order that their horizons too may be broadened. Secondly, to show that all has not been invented under the sun, what may be a mystery to some is not a mystery to all. We become so acclimated to our present technical achievements that few bother to ask the reason why. This lack of physical attitude surely cannot force to continue to progress. Every man must inevitably ask what is the essence of his existence in this life. Through natural color from the abyss of life, I hope to bring a deeper understanding of our cosmic place in a universe of agile beauty. To foster a deeper appreciation of our celestial home through a visual analysis of our neighbors in space. Planetary and interstellar astrophotography has chiefly been carried out by observatories who possessed large refractors or reflectors. Due to the principles employed, the best photos produced have been of objects beyond our galaxy. Interstellar reconnaissance of our neighbors neutralized a combination of artist concept and high-speed black and white films. The optical winner covers a much broader area for the logic instruments, made it impossible for maximum efficiency to be obtained. Astronomers have thus turned to satellite reconnaissance to gain better image definition. Though success has been forthcoming, many more questions have been raised than answered. The color image are vague and like features indicative of planetary photography. Topography. Our moon serve as a prime example of characteristics that other planets may possess, providing that the veil which engulfs some of our major neighbors are made to vanish. Due to the time lapse of planetary distances for light to travel and the apparent substantial these bodies present, the vanishing technique by conventional methods hasn't been forthcoming. Few books or articles relative to the problem of astrophotography and color have been at this, my disposal. Subsequently, a working knowledge of the subject had to embrace such disciplines as applied optics, applied photography, and the physical and mathematical sciences. These pages could be filled with credits and observational astronomy from observatories around the world. But the emphasis here is not to duplicate by fact similar or otherwise the massive material compiled by the scientific community. 
not to alienate their authority on the various disciplines, but to encourage their, object, their objective criticism of an individual investigation in science, compiled by first-hand trial and error. The tables and astronomical constants have been drawn upon the work applicant is an attempt to justify the findings observed. Many claims made by me may be in variance to known and accepted data, well researched by conventional means. <laughs> 